everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do another makeup look inspired by a flower and this look I tried to film for a week ago and for some reason my camera didn't, didn't catch everything. I don't really know why but let's give it another shot. And today we are going to do this beautiful blue Gerbera, flower or Gerbera, I'm not sure but I'm going to put the name down here so you can see. It's a blue, beautiful blue flower with some yellow in the middle and we are going to try to create this look today. I think it's going to be easy because it looks very easy but we'll see. Well if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and without further ado let's get into the look. As usual in these kind of videos I already have my makeup or face makeup on and my eye primer. Uh, I'm going to clean my brushes in, in this one and of course and today I'm going to use two palettes. This Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and of course this NYX Ultimate Brights. Now uh, I always, almost always use this palette because it has those kind of shades that I really need and today we are going to concentrate on this blue one. I tried to use uh, this lighter blue but for some reason it turned grey on my eyelids. I don't know if that was the primer or the paint pot I had or the setting powder. I think I had the Este... no? I can't remember which kind of part but I'm going to try to play with this shadow more because when I swatch it it's blue. For some reason when I blend it in blend thin on my eyes it turns grey so we are going to stay away from that shade today well let's start the makeup look I already set my eyelid primer and the brushes that I really enjoy using is these from Paris Berlin really like them and I'm going to take this blending brush and use this darker blue in my crease and I'm going to take a little bit at a time and try to build it up I'm going to take it a little bit higher if you can see. Here's my crease. I have very hooded eyes and can you see I have a lot of skin that's hanging so I'm taking my crease a little bit higher. Now taking this kind of brush and take that blue again and put it here. There is a little bit of fallout which I don't really like. I'm going to mess my foundation. take this blending brush again and blend the edges. Now I did the same thing on my other eye but for some reason I blended it too high almost to my eyebrows so I'm going to clean that later because I don't look like how it looks. It looks like somebody punched me in the eye but now we're going to go over to the Jaclyn Hill palette and we're going to take the blue the blue shade, we're going to take uh, this one and this is called Twerk, twerk, twerk. this one all over the eyelid and for that we're going to use this uh, flat brush and this looks almost like um, hmm, purple Okay, now we went all to put that this shade all over the eyelid. It looks a little bit more purple than I would like, so I'm going to go over to the NYX palette again and put this blue one all over the eyelid. And it's going to look darker than it did in my crease because we have another blue, bluish color under it. 
And to make it more intense, I'm going to use Fix Plus. So I'm going to wet my brush. Yes, this is what we want. There is some fallout. Oh, God, no. I think this looks amazing right now. So I'm going to take this blue color a little bit higher and um, we'll see how it looks. Take it under here. Now I took the smaller blending brush and now we're going to blend the edges. We're going to start down here. Now I'm going to clean up the edges fall out and under my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, now I took the inner light under my eyebrows also and we are going to take some paint pot in the middle to make space for that yellow shade. I'm going to use this kind of flat brush. Yeah. And then we go into this yellow here and place that over the paint pot. I'm going to clean this brush from that yellow shade. Now I'm going to mix the blue one in the this blue one in the NYX palette to a little bit together with this darker almost black or is it black I don't know shade just to make that blue one more darker with that flat brush I'm going to tap around that yellow shade Okay, I'm going with the finger going into the first shade here and I'm going to take this blue eyeliner pen, waterproof, and place that in my waterline. Now I'm going to do mascara and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. I think it looks very close. It was harder to create than I thought for the from the first beginning. But it was fun to create this blue flower. Now, I did have a lot of fallouts from the eyeshadows. I don't know if that was Jack and Hill palette or the NYX palette. But when I was trying to clean my under eyes, it kind of got smudged and I kind of ru ruined my foundation. So I'm sad because I really like my foundation or face makeup today. But that's what it is. Uh, went also with the na natural lips almost. I wanted to almost make my lips disappear because I wanted my eyes to pop out a little bit extra. Well, you could of course put some falsies 
on the eyelids and go to the party or something or the festival but I'm not going to do that because I have to clean this eye makeup look I'm going to town and I can't go like this I don't think I can go like this but I really like this makeup look and if you want me to create a kind of flower please let me know what flower you want me to to do my makeup inspired by and I will do my best to create that makeup look for you. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!